Mm, I was I was really hoping I would not upload uh, anything else but the last video. But we have to delete that one. The fun of it, you know, and talk about the more problems because I'm a professional. I have to do my job. That's these these are my feelings. Maybe they will change in the future as I improve my lifestyle constantly because there's always something to do when there's no actual parenting above me no actual help no no friends even subscribers trying to run away hmm ah oh, 800 i mean 85 subscribers 184 hmm every now and then i gain subscriber i lose subscriber then i lose subscriber then i cry because uh, nobody cares, you know. And it's pretty bad. Like, if you don't treat people as human beings, you're not going to learn anything. You're not going to actually be satisfied. You're not going to enjoy YouTube. Uh, you're going to be treated the same fucking way, backwards. So, I received this message from uh, YouTube. I use Adblocker every day, and I am not going to be sell sold to buy anything. In fact, I give YouTube a challenge. Sell me anything. Anything at all. I'll be very impressed if you do anything without showing ads, most importantly. Because there has to be, like, I mean, you can show ads about, like, YouTube Premium of, like, hey, pay $20 and you get YouTube Premium. Cool. Forever. Forever. Subscription service is garbage. Please leave me alone. Or at least let me try something. Spend $20 on, on something, you know. The best subscription service is you put in, put money in and you use money based on, you know, the features that you're trying to access. Like you're trying to skip an ad very quickly. It maybe takes two pennies out. It's kind of like a gamified experience. Way better than subscriptions than, than something you're obligated to worry about. So YouTube going to this like uh, menacing... Uh, behavior strategy trying to squeeze people for their money trying to threaten them intimidate and shitify their own platform to see how easy it can break because it can break pretty easily i'll tell you why uh we live in this matrix of time you wouldn't understand what that is but and there's there's four elements water earth fire and wind and i figured like time is going forward so we have a clock of humanity itself of advancements and youtube is one of the biggest advancements it's uh it covers the entire generation however uh it had to change uh the way it does things a little bit and now it has changed the leadership a little bit as well and you can see like the bad intentions but we're gonna fucking smash them away we, we're gonna make them disappear we're gonna show them our intentions of purging things if we don't like your business because businesses are very nice if they get established properly if they don't you know cause any problems and truly uh treat cu customers very well and the outsiders you know as losers who should be buying stuff or they lose, you know. But that has to be like a natural occurrence. It cannot be like forced. You can't cut down trees. You can harvest apples. You can harvest leaves. Uh, you can cut down dead trees. But you can't cut down trees. You cannot ruin your reputation in any way of like and threaten people and threaten integrity of ha what has been established. Just wait until the the tree dies oh it's a thousand years then shut the fuck up tree is immortal don't touch the tree little bitch don't build businesses that cut down trees i'm just saying that dis disrupt nature this is uh the only green movement that we should be you know worrying about is that we're just wasting things whenever we feel like it if there's no alternative solution i understand but if it's just a business problem, we have a problem, all right? 
we have a reason to purge the shit out of them. Also, you know, the inflation is going on. There's a lot of shady practices going on. Businesses all exist here. Everything else is kind of digitalized or factorized. Uh, automated, basically. So the cars get built automatically. No one has to assemble them necessarily. Someone just has to overwatch, manage. So that shit's automated now. But it keeps switching, you know. This thing keeps rotating like a clock. And the trends change. You have to understand what the trends are. I was able to capture them entirely. The eternal trend of just things changing and moving forward. Well, it's not necessarily going to move forward if we're going to be assholes about it. Something's going to have to move backwards a little bit. You know, just, just for a little bit to prove our point that we don't want garbage in our society uh, and don't, we don't want to threaten our communities now youtube is now a community uh, a lot of people are old school youtubers so to speak they shouldn't be fighting each other like jackson was attacking sniper wolf you have to just concede that maybe women the world is a little bit different just just that and it's a good place to fucking start but uh no and there's a lot of inside fighting and uh we went it, it's a little bit annoying i would say we went from miss uh pewdiepie to mr beast it's kind of like a natural thing like pewdiepie possessed the wind personality that the number four and uh, mr beast does the three and it's like uh i, I want to be a part of this cycle uh the only like water you youtuber i remember is like fred and i didn't fucking watch fred all right so i'm not i'm not sure if i can fit in into the just the pattern alone i have to like brute force something new uh, this does apply to me very well i'm i'm very comfortable right now the way youtube is functioning uh I'm very comfortable of like seeking resource that I really want. And the, the most important resource is just to make some friends. So I don't feel fucking alone. And I don't feel like everyone else is alone as well. You know, so if I if I solve my problem, I will try to solve other people's same problem and then just share my solution properly, right? So I just wanna fix my friendship pro I'm just looking for a friend, bro. In the end. But at the same time, everyone else is flexing. They have a girlfriend. They're making babies. They, uh, you know, solid family. Lots of friends having parties. I'm like, I'm, I'm just still sitting in my room. You, you didn't invite me. You didn't even fucking send me a reply. Because I, I sent plenty of messages, bro. And uh, every single time I upload a YouTube video, it's a message. So... Where is acknowledgement that I exist, right? Like, where is that? Now I demand YouTube to be friendly, all right? And this is one of the steps backwards, basically. Just watch ads. Well, ads are not, no. But you know what? You are forcing me to be friendly. In order to fight back against this, I'll start watching channels with below 1,000 subscribers. Yep, that is that is my move. That is the most outrageous move. The only thing for next YouTube Rewind, if people want a good YouTube Rewind, they have to fund the shit out of my subscription. You know, pay for my subscription, for everyone else who's going to be employed to me, subscription to YouTube. They will have to pay to YouTube to do YouTube things because I am also an authority of YouTube. I've spent a lot of fucking time just solving one of my problems, you know, because I have nowhere else to go, all right? So I'm just forced to be a YouTube authority. You know, I'm, I'm forced to learn the most basic things of how YouTube works, and anyone can do that. Anyone can do anything. You should not forget that part. You know, anyone can do anything and the moment you say i'm not a lawyer or i'm not a doctor you're, you're a piece of shit then 
you know, because you just denied yourself uh, being some something that you kind of bumped into wanting to be, you know. Actually, I'm not a lawyer, but I'll try to be a, a little bit of a lawyer, you know. I was like, fuck it, shut the fuck up. Just be whatever. Whatever fits. You know, don't scare people with your insecurities. I don't have many insecurities. I just have haters that project that shit onto me, you know, because I have nothing else to lean on to. Otherwise, I wouldn't have any insecurities, you know. I'll just go one step backwards, you know. I have no no step back. There's no one step backwards. It's just me, though. There's nowhere to return. If I attack something and I get defeated, that's fine. But if I win, it's game over. There's there's no going back when I defeat someone, you know. So I know it's very threatening to watch my videos. Congratulations if you made it, but we have to complete a very important point, a very important uh, topic to understand. Like, okay, ad blockers. What else, right? Because this doesn't stop there. What other shady process? Uh, processes would be happening. Well, uh, scroll a little bit up, and I declared war, an entire war against hate moderation. So I received two notifications, actually. Uh, the second one, uh, a little bit older, is a removed content comment. I received it twice now. Um, and this one, I pretty much know what the comment was, even though YouTube doesn't fucking want to tell me. YouTube doesn't want to fucking tell anyone anything, because that's the way you can get away with a lot of shit. You know, now now all the shitty practices are like stacking up a little bit. Now it's getting uncomfortable. You know, now, now YouTube has uh, lived for a decent amount of lifespan. And uh, was it just getting worse? I mean, more and more people are contributing. That's pretty nice. And they're, you know, leveling up their skills. I'm doing the same thing. So I'm not too upset. I'm just, like, underappreciated of, like, instead of rewarding me for hard work and contrib contribution to the platform, they're asking money for me, and they're asking me to be nicer to people. Which is like, excuse me, princess, you literally have so many tools at your disposal to destroy my comments, to destroy my effort at communicating with people, even if it's hateful, I am not fucking implying violence onto people. I am implying, I want attention, please. That's what I'm implying. I'm getting more and more mad because I just simply can't get a fucking penny out of this fucking system, bro. I can't even get a fucking penny. So what the fuck am I supposed to like be happy about? What kind of effort me as a, my personality supposed to squeeze out of YouTube to gain profit, you know, that I would uh, appreciate? Because I don't even ask for money, to be honest, or views. I just want a, one person to be fucking friendly all of a sudden, you know, not a person that I have to drag into a conversation, you know, and look at all, all this toxic bullshit that comes out as I do it, you know, that's not a, that's not a developed person. That's just a de degenerate NPC that, you know, that I activated, I gave a programming and spit out something, but it doesn't actually function on its own. It just wants to like play games, do sex, fucking earn money stuff. You know, it's just like, it just goes on. The moment you leave the NPC alone, they, they just, just go on to be doing their attracted, you know, addicted things, you know, that they just have been doing the whole time. They, they don't want to interact with you. That's, that's fucking difficult, bro. You know, they, you know, you are never going to implant principles into me. So I just have to let NPCs go, like fucking birds fly away and I forget about them. It's just fascinating to me. The way I have to fucking live my life in absolute frustration. This is my territory, my friends. YouTube is coming to my territory. And it's going to tell me what the fuck to do? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'll show you, YouTube, how Purge looks like. Okay? What happens when you insult the customer? A person with resources, with money, willing to actually fucking actually buy you 
things or do put effort or work for you whatever all right i hold effort of every single kind all right i have made my own money i have made my own things basically it's kind of fake you know but it's just enough to support my self-esteem and to help me do what i do and not worry about mm, problems anymore I don't want to worry about problems because there's plenty. All right, I can find them whenever I need. I just look look around 360 degrees. Oh, 20 problems have been collected. I don't even have to move out of my room to have problems. I will go outside. Oh shit, I have collected 200 problems to solve. Oh fuck yeah, bro. So I don't want YouTube to cause more problems to me. Or I've chosen, you know, the illegal, the pirates way. But if you don't, if you don't, uh, if you go against the European way of just being angry and upset and just, just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna be poor. You know, I'm gonna wait until I have the right fucking resource that can start multiplying and actually empowering me properly, opening up another side of the world or maybe even causing a domino effect. I don't know. I don't know what's possible. But uh, denying and attacking poor people, because, you know, this is another super tax on super poor people, right? $14 a month ain't fucking a small deal, deal, my friends, all right? Yes, technically it's a meal, but it's a fucking tax, all right? Even if it's just 1% of my income. But wait, my income would have to be a hundred or fourteen hundred dollars a month. We're not talking about that shit of an income. Also, one percent is still pretty fucking high. Who are we talking about like five percent? You want me five percent, bro, for your stupid fucking subscription? Shut the fuck up! 5% of my well-being. It already goes to fucking in buy internet. Don't worry about it. All right? So, uh... This is pain. This is pain that they're causing. And now they're intimidating. And they think they will get away with this. Well, uh, we have to strike back. The war is already, uh... You know, declared against... Hate, uh... Moderation. Meaning that I want to be hateful. As a customer, I want to be hateful. It's just how it goes. You can't just declare war against Karens without getting a declaration of war back. Instantly, in fact. Instantaneously. If not a fucking missile strike to your fucking compounds, bro. We don't have missiles, okay? You can call me Karen because I'm, I'm a Hayden every day on bullshit that I find every day. I can find bullshit every day, bro. I try not to now. These two messages are super revealing because it's just intimidation while they're hiding their face, while they're being anonymous. They cannot be attacked, basically. They're not vulnerable enough to be attacked. So the reason why people hate on me is because that's my job. To be hated, to suck in a little bit of that hatred. As a YouTube authority should be doing so. Soak in that hatred, my friend. You don't like it, but you can't do shit about it. It's one skill that you need to do. One skill you need to have. Being able to stand your ground, prove your worth. As an authority person. Not try and squeeze all the monetary values, because... You, you gain it for yourselves, but like, what are you going to do with it? You're going to make YouTube better? How? What are we waiting for? What's the next expansion? You know? Because I can wait for Hearthstone anytime. You know, Hearthstone would make also millions and trillions. The only thing they have to do is hook people up with paying for something, right? The moment they pay, they, the moment they sucker in to pay for something, that's pretty good, but... What if you give them a good deal that they just can't refuse? You know, what if they, they get 20 packs for $2? Or 
that's pretty good. Maybe someone would suck. I would wouldn't fucking buy Hearthstone packs and ever and forever. But someone should be able to fucking do that. If if they never invested money, you should reward them of like okay, with a little bit of tease, you know. They have so much information. They collect so much information. They want more information. Not only you'll be watching ads, my friends, you'll be a guinea pig for a lot of information just sitting on your fucking screen and how you interact with it will fucking matter. Everything you click on will matter. And uh, if you don't click, good riddance, you know, we just fucking wasted your uh, seconds of your life. You disrespectful little shit, you know. You know, you don't watch my ad. You you must be not a customer of uh YouTube, anyways. So we're gonna fucking they they have the power to just toy with you, amplify. If you're if you're not watching ads, they're just gonna force ads down your throat, anyways. You know, they, they're gonna to keep on toying with you. So what do we do to strike back? How how do we do this? First of all, I guess I've said. People below 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be their best friend now. I'm going to be searching for those kind of people. You know, people who don't have ads. First of all, I'm also waiting for the second message from YouTube. Because I got the first one. I'll kindly remove one of the ad blockers, okay? I have apparently two, I guess. Because uh, we don't talk about Bruno, but like, probably I have two, though. I just kind of realized. Maybe I may have two. I probably don't have three, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for that second message from YouTube to intimidate me a little bit more. Then I may listen, you know, like, I, I saw a much greater intimidation message, by the way, so I'm waiting for one of those, all right? This one's uh, shit cake. There's, uh, there's the special little ending. Video player will be blocked after three videos. You better enable ads. And now you can kind of like sense, like this is a predatory behavior, like straight up predatory of like, we sensing that you might have some money. You need to watch more ads. We have to enforce. We don't allow on our platform. So, uh, okay your platform okay there's one thing i will demand as youtube ceo for them to do your you can have your platform okay what do we get what what does the public get what do the communities get what do we get right you get your platform you can go fuck yourself somewhere else but there's a lot of people in here who's gonna suffer as a consequence of these changes so what do we get Right? Because we're going to take that by force. If we don't get nothing. If we just get this middle fucking finger. Of like, what are you going to do about it? By force now we're going to take it. Because a lot of people's livelihoods, they depend on nothing changing drastically like this. And most people's livelihoods are not... We're not talking about influencers here. We're talking about people who are spending their time and focusing on educating themselves. But, you know, I'm trying to understand YouTube a little better. Now, of course, there's a there's a big debate of like, will ads really ruin your life? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Because they're improperly made. They're not designed very well. You know, we're just going back to like the TV era where, uh, now YouTube is desperate to put ads on your face by force. Just like TV. It's just like, don't worry about it, bro. Don't worry about it. And this just opens a can of worms that I can't stand. Like, they have to communicate. They can't just send me fucking these uh, intrusive, offensive, disgusting messages that create hatred. And they also want to moderate the hatred at the same time. So many vi wishes you want me to come true. Me, I'm not a fucking genie. I don't have pockets full of cash, my friends. Or patience for that fucking matter. Yeah, this is how authority looks like. I just sit on a shit amount of subscribers. Because I scare the shit out of people. 
They don't want to associate with me. They don't want me in, in their brains empowering them. Because if do, you get empowered as an NPC, you can't do your shit anymore. Now I have to do the shit that you can unleash your powers into. Like you truly grow a lot faster and intimidate other people as well. The the trickle down now happens. It actually happens. Society is not going to trickle down shit. You know, it's just going to give you information. But most people would block my type of information, but they wouldn't block me as a substance for growth or understanding a different perspective. They wouldn't block that, but they might not want to interact with it because they would be still too intimidated, too, like, respectful of, like, nah, maybe I shouldn't fucking say anything because he's smarter, you know. I understand that part, all right? That's great. It's just uh, I, I need a... A wave of hands, just to just to see people are listening and, and doing stuff. And then this, uh, you know, at least remains at two minutes. You know, average watch time, two minutes, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. That's fine. But yeah, how, imagine how I have to feel. As a person who has to struggle looking at all this stuff, all these demands. Subscription service. I would never subscribe to anything because subscriptions are fucking bullshit and someone up there in youtube authority position is just shitting down our throats but with bad ideas like when i thought i looked into like netflix i laughed at it as like, a eh. i looked at elon musk selling his subscription to fucking you know confirm that you're a much better human being a more trustworthy human being like, it's funny how you can only trust people with money in their hands. That's not a, that's not a customer, that's an abuser. You know, that's, that's a person who wants to uh, buy a bullhorn so they could scream louder outside. Do I want honking cars to never fucking end their reign of power and terror outside? There's a bunch of honking fucking cars Every single fucking hour, there's some fucking asshole pressing their stupid button that they bought, their expensive fucking car that I can't fucking look at. I don't need a car, bro. What the fuck you need a car for? Where are you gonna, where are you gonna fucking run? You're only gonna fucking realize that your tires got popped one day. That's all you need a car for, for a big fucking lesson. To realize your waste of space. Like, actually. Like, actually waste of space. I go, I go outside and I only see fucking dead cars not running around or being used in any way. It's just personal fucking little fucking, you know, house on a wheels. Little seat on a, with wheels and stuff. I don't have one. I never needed one. You know? I understand some, some working folk might need one, but they also need a, to be a part of a community. They need to be learning fast. They need to be contributing properly. If you want to work, you better fucking work prop. Now we have scooters. You can still use a bike too. There's options. You can commute together. Can I to, to give money to the driver, not worry about it. You can look into your fucking tablets while someone else is driving you. There's options now. Cars are less and less needed, but people are still would be forced into thinking that this is completely normal to still, you know, drive your own car and do your own fucking things. Of course. There's now bullshit piling up because we have technology that replaces bullshit with clean and uh, reliable solutions. Of like, I can, I can communicate with anyone in the world, but nobody wants to do that with me. So, that's a pretty big problem. Like, I'm pretty upset, you know. Pretty fucking upset. So I just have to like take the highest power imaginable. YouTube CEO is the highest. You can't even imagine more powerful person than this. Besides like president or whatever. Some bullshit like that. But like I'm taking the highest power imaginable. Just to try and get the simplest thing imaginable at the same time. Just, just to connect with enough people to satisfy myself. And just relax, you know, like, I, I solved my life, alright? I'll, I'll, I'll have some kind of job, I'll, I'll provide them some kind of service, 
you know, some some monkey NFTs if they want for money. But most importantly, I need the, the connection, the the satisfaction of like confirmation that I'm I'm doing something good for them. Right. So I'm still like I have to be in the highest level of position to learn skills as fast as possible. Now, uh, the qu the big question is like, will I pay? No, I already told you. The only thing I, I will be paying attention now is uh, people who are not monetized because they can't. Like apparently, like YouTube doesn't doesn't really give a fuck about your shit if you don't have a thousand subscribers if you don't if you're playing limbo with youtube like nah bro if you uploading videos that youtube algorithm doesn't pick up by the way youtube algorithm is garbage the only thing youtube algorithm cares about is how you title your video i figured that out my friends the title matters like 90 percent of the entire then the then the watch time kind of matters right but if you are like me and you don't edit your videos you're not going to entice people to watch your videos so what the fuck's the point right watch time matters yeah how do i fucking squeeze out watch time like i have problem i'm just trying to solve a problem i i don't i don't want a lot of people to watch so it's, it's not going to be picked up by a, an algorithm you know there's no like ge generosity by YouTube algorithm. It's, it's also a predatory system, basically. It's like, oh, your video is good out of all the contest contested, you know, a thousand videos of con. It's just like Mr. Beast video, basically, right? You pick up a thousand people, and only one of them gets a million, and it's like, what the, what the no, no, I no, Mr. Beast videos are just brain damage at this point, no. No, 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 no. Let them do work. Let them do actual work and earn their share of money of what they fucking deserve. And if they if they beat the competition, they, they, they like double the money or something, you know? But like everyone should be rewarded. It's just to make it more spectacular though, I have to give a million dollars to a 10 year old, you know, that wins the competition. Mm-hmm. Of like uh shitting his pants the fastest like gr yeah yeah but like but like why what, what's gonna happen with the rest and it, like mr beast now is starting to get really fucking awkward of like but i don't want to leave you empty-handed i'm gonna give you a few thousand do you like me now please you know this is a fucking disturbing bro mr beast is now opening his hu human behavior like his human behavior is now starting to pop out and we know he's going to remain like this forever he's going to be remaining cringe as fuck person just like pewdiepie was he's going to be cringe as fuck i don't want more enemies because mr b shows up in my dreams so like let's not let's not haunt my dreams but like yeah uh, I'm still testing Mr. Beast on the Ring of Fire. Uh, it's going to move on to the next year. The series is going to continue, as well as Jack's films is going to continue his series of uh, the actual film. You know, he's finally making a film, the series that uh, we have never seen before. The most powerful thing of being a fucking loser, basically. I've summarized a very simple thing that uh you know he's trying to act like a robin hood but robin hood is not actually a moral person just giving money to the poor it takes a lot of effort to take from the rich give to the poor you also uh you know uh risking your life for it you're risking your reputation for it you are attacking someone that probably provides quite a bit of resources you know quite moves things around Rich people do provide something to be able to become rich. They have to do something. Even if they force labor onto people and they don't pay much, but there's still work happening, right? There's, there's still something useful that people pay for. You can't be too upset about it, but you should be a little bit upset that uh, we don't necessarily have minimum wage because the minimum wage is about like, 
how much the company is earning, you have to distribute the wages. It has to be a percentile. You have to own shares as, as a worker of some kind of an amount. That's the actual minimum wage that should be happening. Now, it's hard to calculate so people, you know, are given some kind of rigid number. Sometimes in some places, there, there's a lot of fucking shit going on. I will be very comfortable watching people below 1,000 subscribers and people on TikTok. I'll be very comfortable giving YouTube a middle finger backwards as they fucking deserve. You know, see, but same goes to these fucking idiots who think, uh, you know, showing TikToks is now thievery. Uh, and all we have to do is just focus on Sniper Wolf instead of like other reactors and creators that deserve credit. Instead of like, oh, what Sniper Wolf put into her videos? We have to respect those people 10 times more than anyone else now. Uh, but in general, like, it's just so weird. It's just the weirdest behavior that shouldn't be praised. This shouldn't be praised. Yes, people are uplifted when they're learning something new, when they jump into drama, and when they feel like essentially, you know, somewhat useful. They're making something happen. I come into play and I get more dislikes than ever before in the history, bro of my existence on YouTube. I have broken the record of dislikes. This is not mine, this is Sniper Wolves. But a lot of degenerates, basically, they re-enable the dislike thing, and they're like, wow, we got so many dislikes. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Isn't that crazy? Now, this is not a real number, by the way. But we don't talk about Bruno. Is the thing that, like, the moment you enable dislikes, the moment you try to peek into that number, which is privated for a reason, you disrespect YouTube, you disrespect me. There's a good reason why this is hidden. And there's a good reason why I'm I'm being hidden. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna show. It's, you're not supposed to encourage bad behavior. You're just not, never supposed to encourage bad behavior. So whoever is enabling and flexing of like, oh, Sniper Wolf is getting dislikes. <laughs> you might lose your YouTube channel, my friend. Like, actually, this, this, I'll just like, okay, I'm going to be more polite. I'm probably not going to lose my YouTube channel. But flexing that you can just cheat your way through, loophole yourself and like show dislike ratio and fucking give the high self-esteem of like, oh, this person is being a hater right now. You can't do that on a platform where you can just shift your perspective somewhere else. You don't like this person? Look at something else right now. All right? Just look at something. Nothing bad is going to happen if you look away. Don't worry about it. Just look away. Just tell that you're not going to be looking into this person, that their reputation is gone, but the, the longer you look, the more buttons you click, these just gonna merge and give, either gonna ruin your channel and your reputation, or just gonna amplify theirs. It's just what's gonna happen. If they can turn around dislikes into likes, that shit is worth way more than this. All right? If you can turn this around, if you can turn your reputation around, it's, way, it's worth way more. And with Sniper Wolf, it's inevitable that it's going to happen. That she was going to teach losers a lesson. All right? That half of you guys have to go to TikTok anyways. Bye bye You don't enjoy YouTube videos. You don't even understand the value of Sniper Wolf. What the fuck's the point of even talking to you? Spectacular. Anyways. So, uh... Let's try and finish this and see all the co uh, the points that I've made uh, so I could just move on with my life. Again, I watched this video. This is fairly new, but this is not what triggered me. The, the trigger was, in fact, the warning that I received today. Uh, again, they detected the ad blocker. They're not allowed on YouTube. Woof. Now, we have to, like... Try to analyze 
how how Google allows themselves to have so much authority for themselves. Because they probably have never, you know, encountered war before. Now it's an unlocked, you know, potential thing to happen. War. Like, someone can actually declare war against Google and just attack those people. Kind of like provoking violence in a way, right? Because the moment violence happens, it's like, fuck it. I guess we, we're going at it. You know, we're going with the masks on. We, we're just going at it, you know? You, you, we just have to provoke violence now. That's it. They will do it first, and they will receive the backlash and pure destruction, basically. But, yeah, it's cool. It's the most extreme case that could happen, right? We get really upset and we start declaring war on Google itself, as the, the existence of Google. I'm already resentful of their entire existence. The search is garbage now. The Google search is now garbage compared to Bing, bro. I'm now comparing this to Bing. I'm actually using Bing now for some reason. What happened, Google? What? Just just a few. This is a simple guy. What happened, though? Bing is giving me tokens. I like tokens. They at least understand tokens is a thing. So uh, they're already ahead. Microsoft is ahead, but Microsoft owns... Minecraft, so I'm not comfortable with Microsoft either, but you know. Also, they don't have a platform for videos, do they? Microsoft Stream Voice. What the fuck? Video site. Only your company should watch. Okay, mate. Yeah. Now, with the rise of NFTs and all that garbage, I mean, uh, Adam Conover is attacking relentlessly. Even yeah, I attacking relentlessly. It's a kind of hateful person. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's a, it's a little bit questionable. You 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 gotta put some salt in it. You know, not grain of salt. Not no fucking smack some a bag of salt in his face because like it's not necessarily like the nft is not necessarily bad like it's a great idea if you establish it properly but the moment people take get a taste of money they just lose their minds over it. it's not supposed to be about money the the money part you should you should just be selling ideas and you're not supposed to be overselling ideas in order to like retain a reputation Bitcoin is still alive simply because, you know, it's, it's just a technology. It's a way to exchange money. It's not, not a big deal. And now it's kind of like stabilized. Bitcoin, I looked at the price of Bitcoin. It's like pretty fucking stable to me. So I, I have no nothing against NFTs. It actually inspired a lot of people to try and create something. NFT, like d digital currency, what is that? Cryptocurrency, right? Blockchain. They just invented a bunch of shit. And they're looking for, like, this Web3 moment, oh, which is fancy, fancy, but um, uh, it's still very early on. It's like, I had problems with Hearthstone, okay, and it's the, the top of the leaderboard of card games. And we're looking for alternatives all the time, all right? At some point, you're going to deviate from your fucking path, from being a trusted platform, and we're going to look for alternatives to at least scare the shit out of you. You know, of what is possible. If you become hostile, we need to be able to declare war. We need to be able to defend ourselves. It's just how it is. And uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how Google is going to fucking do it. There's a lot of fucking crazy shit that's going on. Especially people are declaring war on their, themselves. They just say that we're just going to ban hatred. And hate... Uh... It's only going to get stronger if you try and repress it. You have to let people release their hatred. You have to at least understand the principle of, like, people want to rage into something. It's not going to, not supposed to affect you. It's across the internet. No one gets hurt. All right? You have to appreciate when no one gets hurt. No one actually gets hurt. If your feelings got hurt, that's actually pretty fucking powerful. 
that someone was able to hurt your feelings, maybe without threatening violence and actually like trying to manifest into your reality. But you know, your your feelings got hurt. That's that's fine. I I'm totally up for it. You know. So the message that I've sent that I I that triggered this avalanche of a video was I want to break Jack Stone's forehead in half. You know, something like that. And donate the other half to children in Africa. I was making a, a joke on top of a joke. The big forehead thing and the give it to African children because, like, you know, it's a donation. What am I going to do with the rest of the half? You know, I did slightly hateful, violent thing that's sort of a joke. But, you know, someone picked it up, reported me. Mm -hmm. And now uh, I have to sit with that fucking warning of like, well, your comment got deleted. You got a warning. Better not fucking do that, bitch. You know. Okay, YouTube. But you, you're you gonna lose your reputation just like Discord is. You know. Now, with Discord, I don't want to, you know, go to other people's Discords or try to find it. Find their Discords. I get just banned instantly. You know, people just dislike me instantly because I'm an authority person. So I will take authority. I will take responsibilities and I will start doing things, you know, and people don't like that because people just want to fucking do their planking thing. It's all, all, always like dabbing and planking, you know, just about doing nothing, staring at the wall of nothing. You wake them up and they're always angry. Like, it's uh, every single time I, I fucking try to interact with people, do you just get angry of, like, why are you trying to do anything, boy? Just flow like a driftwood, like a little bitch. And I'm not doing that. I want to do things in life. I don't want to plank. The planking challenge, 12 hours of planking. That's what happens on Discord most of the time. And people get upset about waking up for a little bit, you know? I want to interact with people. Maybe I'm a little bit too aggressive and too demanding, but I, I had high expectations, all right? I have pretty high expectations. So all of those expectations just move away. But Discord also wanted to fucking kick me in the balls for it, for being blocked on other people's channels. Like, what the fuck? What did I do? I got punished and I get punished on top of getting punished. Like, what the fuck is that? It's like going to jail, going outside of jail, and people hate you even more because you went to jail. You go to jail, I thought you were gonna fucking clean your fucking record, bro. Not like, people gonna hate you and be even more scared of you, and you have history now of being in jail. of Not not doing crime, but like being in jail is pretty fucking big history now. Of like, you, you're gonna contract even more hatred, and we have to ban hatred even more. Like, it's a never-ending cycle of trying to push hateful people in in their tight circle and just drop a bomb on them. How are you going to do that, though? You know? How the fuck are you going to do that? You can't even ban us together. You can't even allow us to manifest together to be able to drop a bomb. You will lose the war. You, we just, you're just going to get corrupted. It's so easy for me. Like, I'm growing in power exponentially. Who's going to fucking stop... And I just want a simple fucking thing. Just some respect or appreciation. Spend my time properly. Just feel like a human being still. But I still have to continue growing power because everyone else is just weaker. It just wants to be a loser in front of me for some f pathetic reason. Uh, it's, it's, it's painful, absolutely. So let's uh, keep going. Yeah. And... Every single there, there's two sides to the story. Like there's Sniper Wolf side and there's the Mac Mark Passio side. The Sniper Wolf you have heard, all right? You you've heard of Sniper Wolf, right? It's a women's side of like, oh, women being disrespected. That's pretty bad. But what happens when a man gets disrespected? Well, a man uh, can either collapse or just just keep moving forward like I do. Mark Passio has collapsed has collapsed into thinking that the government is the enemy. How can you even communicate with the government? What kind of information you get from the government? The only I, information I get is like, cha-ching, you know, in my bank account from the government. That, that's all I get. That's the information of like, oh, well, you're a poor 
and you're mentally ill, um, I guess I have to open my pockets for you, because I feel a lot of pity, my friends, for for your existence. There's, like, you can't even get a job. Hmm. I like that. That's pretty good. That That's what I heard from the government. I, I like it. All right? I don't need government to respect me. I don't... I don't see government in my life anyways, and if it gives me money, despite being seen, like, <laughs> tell me more, Mr. Government. Absolutely, bro. Until now, the renovations have started. You know, they want to change the, the house we're living in for a very expensive price. Another fucking capitalistic bullshit is going on in the background. How we... How are we going to fucking get through that? I'm not sure. Maybe it's not a big deal, but it looks like a fucking big deal when there's construction going on. Will I still be able to be inside while this is happening? What's going to happen to my room and my operation? Will I still be able to make YouTube videos? If that slight change happens, like all of a sudden, like you can change people's lives to way worse for a prolonged period of time. But it's like, it's it's all worth it because we're renovating and stuff. But like, we should be compensating. Compensated. The government should be doing this shit. You know, building houses and stuff and selling it to people. Why the fuck we have to renew a house? There's so many problems with just that alone. And I sit here, like, why? And how did people even do that in the first place? How did they survive? What What is their story? I can't. It's hard to even ask a question because I'm like, shit, I'm... I even have some paperwork. And it's supposed to be like, the meeting's supposed to be like three days later. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing just trying to survive mentally. Just the mental exhaustion of being left alone is enough for me, alright? I don't want to bond over some, some other problem, you know? It's, it's not... It's not that fucking useful to even know about. Alright. If, if if we're earning money, that's a pretty good problem to bond over. This is just like how not to lose money. And I'm like, shit, if I lose money, I lose money. I fucking die, I die, bro. If I earn money, I get a better lifestyle. That's something to fight for. If I die, though, I'm not gonna fight for that one. You know, I'm just I'm just gonna let it, let it fucking happen. The moment I'm threatened, I'll I'll just fight back as, as best as I can. You know, now I don't see the fucking... the way to do it. It's just like, uh, welcome to the court. You get a court notice. What are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna really contemplate on what you're gonna see in the court? The only thing you can say is just sit there silently and not fucking even care about anything. Just like, if you get asked, you just like, yeah, I'll do whatever you say, bro. And that's it. Because that's all they want to fucking hear. They just want to do their fucking spectacle, as they did in court. They just want to do their spectacle. You just sit there listening. You have no input. There's there's nothing you can do. You're not supposed to do anything because it's going to offend them, naturally. Or you, you, you're going to just uh, flop, naturally. Because you, you just outmatched. But that's just not the way to play games anymore. If, if you aren't matched and it's like, just stay silent, we're just going to play a chess, you know, and you can like move a pawn once. Like this is, this is a pretty big insult to make, right? Like I, I don't have any input to defend myself legally. Like that is pretty evil, isn't it? That's the justice system that I don't want to fucking see, where I cannot even properly defend myself. The, the court should be happening every now and then, and then it becomes real at some point, right? We, we just learn to gather somewhere, we discuss problems and all that shit. Like, this, this has to be, like, trained. The ice has to be broken, melted, removed from the problem. Because when there's too much ice, of course, silence is the best move, you know? So in, in both cases, like, silence was the best move, and the moment I said anything, the moment I tried to even defend myself, now I have haters even on the highest authority levels. Just self-defense is offense. Just hatred, which is also very much self-defense, is offense to most people. This is unacceptable.
most people see self-defense hatred is is the highest form of self-defense you know if i have a reason i can even threaten you i can threaten your shit but the best way to threaten is just i'll declare war and then anything goes the bad things will happen to you don't worry about it all right we don't talk about it you don't get to you know report it to the authorities it's war it's just like how it is you know bad things will happen to to those people who stand in my fucking way that's just how it is so self-defense hatred is somehow offense to most people you should be offended great but you have to do something about it that's actually productive instead of like putting more pressure on me i'm just self-defending myself the problem is not me something else is the problem you know maybe i'm not getting enough drugs actually you know that's that's how that's how people solve their problems medication is not drugs though medication is just like more more attack more offense basically because they're, they're trying to block your like nervous system basically they're trying to mess with your brain with medication that's pretty bad i don't like that shit you know to try and shut you down it's like go to sleep okay you, we can't ha handle you like just drink medication so you fucking get paralyzed and silenced even more because that's your only move you have but if the only move is silence the other next move is death and then I have many moves. I can kill anyone, boys. Anyone. If if silence sticks for too long, it touches death. And then anything happens. Anything I fucking want. Be silent. But if you stay in silence, you will die eventually and you will die a lot quicker than you expected if you stay in silence i do not have the best move as silence that is not the case my friends i only have the best move as silence when they want to play their game in front of me you know they want to have the sexy fucking garbage thrown at me in front of me then the best move is actually silence you know you watch porn it's like well you got to be fucking silent because you, you're not actually communicating with the pixels on your fucking screen that's what happening in justice system you just see porn you nothing garbage so you, you can only sit there silently and it's like well i'm not actually involved into this and i don't even care that's the best move but actually, in real life, the best move is not silence, unfortunately. This best move is self-expression, and that's what YouTube stands for, unfortunately. It's, it stands for saving people's lives, bro. But yes, their move successfully is going to make me more conscious of, like, I have to talk to sub sub 1000 below 1000 subscribers creators i'm gonna give credit to creators because i can't give credit to authorities i i'm now siding with jack's films because i hate authorities just as much as he does unfortunately i didn't thought that was going to be the case you know i didn't thought that there's going to be a small the fall of Sniper Wolf and Mark Pazio, and I'm going to be uh, agreeing with that for the most part. You know, that's a pretty shitty ending, but I can't do shit about it. I can't do shit. I have to just see the thing unfold properly. Because the actual enemy, these people must not, m not, must comprehend. Mark Pazio has to chill and just leech money from the government. The fucking Sniper Wolf has to also chill and be like, Okay, I'll I'll do that thing in the fucking description. I'll I'll gonna you know comply to the the problems in hand. She has to comply, and so they're being challenged. These little shits are being challenged.
but I adore them, okay? I'll try and protect them. I'll try to feed them ideas if they listen to me. Of course, I'll prepare a meal for them to save their ass. I myself, I don't need no saving. I feel very comfortable where things are going, you know? So, uh, yeah, the Indian take over, basically. Because the Indian took over the seats of YouTube CEO. He, t he gets the money for my work now. That's not good for my crown, for my title. That's not good, but, I'll, you know, bad things will happen to a person who's leeching uncontrollably and making bad decisions on overall. You know, there's just, just a whole vibe of, like, YouTube shorts is just a vomit on your face. I don't need YouTube shorts. I have removed them. So please at least don't re-enable YouTube Shorts because I have a YouTube Shorts blocker too, my friends. All right, just just don't don't touch that one. <laughs> that would be too funny. You, you, you literally touch my pee pee. It's YouTube Shorts is the ugliest thing ever, basically, and just everything went downhill from there. The second most ugliest thing is the handle enforcement. Everything is going backwards in terms of YouTube progress. I can't believe that. I just can't believe it. How shitty things are now. But the the, the major part is like fast is it works. It works. But I will start exploring more. So there is alternatives, boys. We have an, an, an alternative cake. Alright, birthday. Check out. YouTube alternative. So uh I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give up, my friends. You're never gonna see me give up on anything. You're not gonna see me squeeze a dollar out of me for any bad cause. I tried one specific thing that sold me. I I sold out to. Just to try it out, right? It was a face search engine, basically. I wanted to this jump on this AI thing of like, oh, let's search faces and stuff. And it was kind of cool until I found the free version. Now it's not that cool. Oh, well, I guess I use the free version whenever I can. There's a little bit more uh, waiting time in there, but and maybe the results are shittier. But I'm just going to wait for like free versions and stuff. Someone's going to donate to the public. So, you know, the moment, like, YouTube is somewhat a donation to the public of, like, we, we're here to learn. We're not here to fucking watch ads and give mo YouTube to mo uh, money by default. By default, we have to have a safe space where we're not asked for money. People have to feel safe around YouTube. Like, they don't want to be uh misused mishandled there has to be some kind of like sacred safe space of not monetized videos youtube has to either make that split or uh get the fuck out of the system entirely and we have to say goodbye to it but for now i'll just gonna like lay down the alternative so people below 1000 Subs, maybe they're gonna be friendly. Most of them are not. Don't worry about it. But you can have this hope. All right. There, I I have a little bit of hope too, because if you're friendly with them, they they're sort of like wiggling around and like trying to uh, see nice things to you. But the moment they hit a one thousand subscribers and they they start monetizing, you have to just leave them. You. You're not supposed to be attached. If if you can't convince them to not monetize their content, if you can't convince them, they're not your friends. They're not friendly enough, unfortunately. If they just want three bucks for their content every now and then, it's like, that's, that's just greed. That's it. Our friendship is worth more than that. So they have to, like, sacrifice that shit for as long as possible. This is what's going to lay down your friendship with these people can you push them above 1000 subs without them selling their souls 
we 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 see a whole plan uncovered because the devil is you know has has been seated basically. I'll have to be fighting a a whole fucking screw of narcissism basically. I'm gonna be have to fight because because the narcissism wants to take over. You know they already taken over. Do you want to take over? But take over is self destructive and it's uh, kind of purposeless. There's no why behind it. If you have a reason to build a business, congratulations. That's a very rare thing, but I, I'll appreciate it. As long as it's, like, not hostile. So what else can we do? Well, TikTok is uh, great. You know, just yeah, great. There's no ads. For me, at least. I don't, I don't know. If, if you get ads... I don't know what kind of TikTok you're watching, but I, I don't get no ads. So that's another alternative. There's more. Movies and uh, TV series. Why do I say that? It's like, isn't that a subscription service? Not for me. I cheat, okay? I have to cheat, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to cheat on that one. All right. And I, I, st I still want to, like, watch a lot of TV series, potentially, so, I don't know. I want to get in get in tune with that, and, uh, again, show middle finger to YouTube for uh, not being able to show me that at all, in any way. You know, like, they, they can't. So there's there's a lot of anime I can watch and all that shit. I can, I can sort of add anime, I'm not sure... Maybe anime. May that's a maybe. This one's weird. Yeah, this one's so. There's a last one. There's a missing piece of this. There's always four. I've learned in life to always expect four. If I don't get four, it's wrong. I haven't solved the puzzle yet. So what is the fourth thing that I can be doing? Instead of watching any big creators, the big creator is gonna just go bye bye. The moment I'm I'm forced to close my ad blocker, YouTube can just go fuck itself. All right, all all you big creators, all of you want to go to YouTube rewinds? Get the fuck off my face, bro! Fight authorities. Help me declare war on authorities. Build your own fucking YouTube rewind if you're so fucking smart. You're not. Spoiler alert, you're not that smart. Because you haven't tried it since. I'm the only one struggling by myself, not even inspiring anyone to fucking do it. So no, you're not smart. I can give you the plan, you can rip me off. I mean, uh, bad things will happen, as I've said, if you fucking rip me off. Because I will try to be your friend. Because it's like, that's exactly what I wanted. You do my job. Now I'm your best friend, all right? That's what would happen. But that's pretty bad for most people, because they don't want to fucking mess with me, you know? So what is the last replacement that we can do on, for YouTube? We can go to alternative platforms. I'm not sure if that works. Uh, there is one more thing. And this one's pretty good. More gaming. You know, and other ways to interact with content. I might even have to say goodbye to a bunch of, uh, you know, Hearthstone people and all that shit. Just for the sake of, like, I'm not watching the fucking ads. I'm just not doing that. I'm not giving a fucking penny anymore. I've given so much watch time. And if you can't appreciate that, that I'm boosting your fucking, like, telling the algorithm that's uh video is good or bad like i'm already contributing to the platform just by you know being on the platform is that you want more you want to treat yourself as a company the reason why facebook and other platforms are not succeeding as well as tiktok and youtube they're treating themselves as companies they're treating themselves as authorities they think they're doing a great job, but they only need money or only need participation of other people. That's not true. That is absolutely not true. 
that's not the essence. That's a pretty good resource. It blows pretty easily, but it's not true. So when I went to Runeverse, right, there's an alternative, basically, a Hearthstone thing. And you must know what Hearthstone is, please. I went to Runeverse. Any game developer can reach this level, right? They can start talking with society, right? But you have to interact with society. You have to do something. You have to be active. You have unlocked the society thing. You have printed out a bunch of cards. You can talk about the cards. It's so exciting when it happens. It's not exciting when I get banned. When I get blocked, hated, not defended properly, not appreciated properly. That's not exciting at all. There's just abuse. There's just emptiness being used as my coffin, basically. Or just the border zone established. So it just kind of turned into a meltdown. It was the coolest place. It, it at least had anarchy. You know, anarchy st is the lowest, uh, you know, lowest effort thing you can establish. Of like, allow people to just do whatever they feel like, as long as they're not causing any harm. People might complain of like, you're repelling customers and all that shit. It's not true. It's just never true. Unless you actually losing service because of that. But if there's no service, there are no customers. You can do whatever you want. I was not repelling customers. I was trying to do my thing while trying to enjoy the game as well, as much as possible. But I was just focusing on the unique aspect of the game of like you have a discord channel i want to be a part of it i want to be vocal i want to be active that's what i wanted to do but i wasn't appreciated so you gotta go now it's this game over anarchy just turned into ass arky or something because just some bullshit people farting around with the buttons now it's just monkeys with buttons have taken over that's what i'm gonna say all the time Below anarchy, there's only monkeys with buttons, boys. Once once the anarchy disappears, like this is the worst downgrade, and it's probably unrecoverable. It's like anarchy is already so fucking easy to just uh allow. The way it is. You know, maybe people just want to stay. The way things are that you don't you don't want to change things too much. You just don't want to fucking do that. If people are complaining, like, you have to, like, uh, solve the problem, at least. Resetting anarchy is also a bad idea. You just make a new server, unfortunately. You just have to, like, I, I heard that before. You know, like, there's a infamous anarchy server of Minecraft. And it just got reset, I think. Everything got deleted or something. I mean, it probably wasn't. But like, hopefully people don't uh, complain too much. But now, now if you do bad things, like, again, who's going to enforce properly these things? And usually people hire monkeys, just emotional people who's just going to press buttons and think they, they did a good job because they filled in a position of like a moderator. But that's what happens with hate moderation. A monkey takes buttons and deletes a bunch of fucking pe respectable people. That's all that happens. Anarchy can be easily downgraded, but you can also be easily upgraded. It can be improved, but you have to actually follow principles, understand the way of life, bro. So this is the alternatives we're gonna be focusing on. Showing YouTube middle finger from now on. I didn't, like, last year, I almost lost my mind as well to, like, copyright nonsense and all that shit. I can't believe this year we also got a middle finger. And this one is even more serious and more damaging than ever before. But, like, if I wanted to just make a friend, I'll concede. I'll give you to the floor. I'll download all the music to myself, though. Thank you very much. I'll just download it. All right. And uh, say YouTube quite a quite a big goodbye. I will still like make a playlist maybe 
out of the music I have in public. But if they enforce ads, if they break that last straw, this is what we're going to do to retaliate. And I'm not going back until everything comes back to normal. I'm not going back. I'm only going to spread the disease. Because the cake has been baked. And uh, people are going to enjoy that. Anyways. I should probably make an NFT for uh, Neil before me, am I right? But I'm a little bit scared of like uh, Susan. Because she was trash. I, I never really respected her. But I guess I should make Susan NFT so maybe she does something. I have to inspire her to like take back the control because like things are getting really bad. Uh, to the millionaire. I mean, all she, she has to do is just poop out a million and put it in my mouth. And then I can make friends for a certain amount of time until I lose that million. Yeah. Well, I'm, I might be able to be attractive with a million. That's all she has to do, bro. Where's my... Where's my employment... Uh, rewards? Alright. Oh, shit. There's some demonic shit going on. Which one is funny, though? I need a funny one. She has a meme, right? Dad, no. We have to... We have to make a card. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, people have been complaining about demonetization, but when the customer is getting hit and abused, this is where things get really disturbing. Really disturbing. You can abuse your creators, influencers, not pay them as much. Like, what's, what's the big deal, right? Why is YouTube so upset of, like, that they have to target the customers instead of the fucking creators? What's going on, right? Now, everyone's just going to jump on board. It's going to split YouTube in half, right? See, that's that's where I draw the line. Like, I'm not going to support creators. They already released their videos. They got their, their bag. And if things are slowing down and not as comfortable anymore for people, I'm not fucking supporting that shit. So I, I really need the, a meme. Okay, that uh, what 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 I know her for very well is making tweets of how big peepees are. You know, oh my god, you have uh, 10 million subscribers. Oh my god, let's celebrate that. Where when is the party happening? All right, so that's gonna be our meme. I'm gonna give her 10 million, bro, or a hundred million. Oh my god. Mr. Beast just hit 100 million. Let's celebrate that on Twitter. All right. I'm glad Elon Musk uh, replaced uh, Twitter with an X. Now I can just use an X whenever I feel like it. And indicate that you need the, that uh, three extra mana. Rune of sacrificing a mana. Or a... Uh, Lord Almighty that wants to tweet. Oh no, it kind of overloaded on top. I can sort of like break the rules a little bit and make it actually big peepee. -pee. Look at that shit. Oh my god, such a big peepee, -pee, guys. It's on top of the card. It's overlapping the card. How dare you? See the things I can do, man? It's crazy. Okay, that's what I came up with. And again, the name is... Uh, oh my god, Big Pee Pee. If it gets attacked, but we have... A Big Pee Pee. On our board. If the Big Pee Pee's on our side, then we can uh, target this instead. That thing instead. Hmm. All the attacks would go there, and this kind of is untargetable. And this also gets buffed by every single friendly minion on the board. Isn't that crazy? It's not a strong card, I would say. It's not really strong. Uh, 
you're probably gonna have like two minions. What is that? Four six for six mana. That's that's it. Kind of shit. Yeah, I do want to give the authority though. Dang. That would freeze minions if they attack her. Yeah, that's kind of necessary. Because she weak. She be weak, man. Alright. That should be it. That's kind of my closing moment. Unless I read something and I go into a rampage again. But this is like the greatest meditation of all time. Uh, Susan kind of ruined my day, technically. YouTube itself ruined. But Susan's gonna take it, bro, because she, you know, sat there for long enough and could have applied the leadership that was appropriate. Also, Instagram ruined my day because it, it just kind of didn't fucking work, as if I didn't have internet connection. But it's just so painful. Instagram is one of those, like, if, if it falls down, it, it breaks, it shatters type of things. Fucking nasty. I can't wait for Pinterest to take over. Hopefully not while I'm making YouTube rewinds, but I'll have to respect it, you know. Whatever. Yeah, so one more video and we're, we're a full production. I'm doing the work as I go instead of uploading videos necessarily. I will be uploading on a different channel. I'll explain everything there. Uh, now give me my points. Thank you very much. Yeah, as long as your hate is not harming anyone, it's actually a great self-expression thing. It's a great training. You become a stronger person. You use YouTube, you respect YouTube as a consequence, but once you try to shut it down, I mean, it's, it's not going to be very successful. It's going to create a lot of problems. I've seen tons of that. It's just like, let's tolerate people as long as they're not hateful. Oh, wait, some, as long as they're fucking different race or culture, maybe they, they like being hateful, but we are, we are better. It's just some weird fucking twisted shit. Also, just hate is, like, against, like, diversity in general, so it's like, but they can be hateful, right? Why? It's just so stupid, like, you can never put double standards, like, principles are not gonna work if they're double standards. If it's only gonna work for a certain amount of pe people, right? Uh, it's like, some, some people have hearts and some people don't have hearts, you know, so we have to treat them differently. Like, that just doesn't work. There's a reason why we're a human beings and not something else. And it's it's it can take up many forms and it's it's still pretty satisfying for me to experience the whole thing. But like at some point we still human beings, right? And diversity kinda like shuts down. And it's not a desperate thing uh, to try and protect. So that there's some shit going on. Like when people plant the flag of diversity, like you know. You know it's garbage. You know it's American flag. And uh, it has to be disrespected, to say the least. Because taking so much territory and so much fucking brain space across the internet, I mean, excuse me, princess, we're, we're not going that deep, okay? And now Europe is fucking under fire, basically. It's annoying. And it's taking up tremendous damage. Like, America is not taking that much damage as Europe, but like everyone is thinking that it's just the stupidest thing like it has to be solved and no one wants to do it somehow everything is get, getting stuck i can do insane damage yeah but if uh, youtube wants to start actually learning how to earn money and revenue try and sell something bro sell me something because it's very difficult, like, it's just digital space, like, how are you supposed to fucking sell things? Someone is gonna come up with a much more free version of YouTube, don't worry about it. People are gonna move, alright? But people are now stuck, we can do whatever we want. Like, it's just some new, new stupid ideas people come up with. I already gave in the alternatives. It's not gonna happen. 
Um, you're not gonna boil the frogs, my friends. And the easiest thing you can sell is, first of all, give tokens for effort. Maybe some people will buy tokens, I don't know. I will still, I will never put any money into digital space. It's almost like a challenge. Unless it's like for exploration purposes, for making a video purposes. Maybe I have too much money, you know, I gotta waste it. It has to be like a really purposeful thing. Otherwise, you don't deserve my money. You deserve my effort. I'll, I'll put work into it. I want to have fun around here. I need friends. So that's what I'll be doing. And most people should probably behave the same fucking way. Adopt the same principles. Uh, I think that's it. I think we can go. And I do give a premium ex experience on YouTube. I don't show ads. And uh, even if you subscribe and I'll get a thousand subscribers, I'm not going to enable ads, right? Well, I do fucking need money. Me? Me need money, actually. So, and some people don't actually even use ad blocker. All right. In a way, you can mitigate the fucking thing. It's a double standard in a way. I need money, bro. Unless someone stop, like, uh, someone can stop it. Like, it's not a double standard simply because I said, I'll try to stop other people and they might be able to stop me. But if all I get is nothingness, if I can get a fucking few dollars out of that nothingness, like, fuck it. I'll take those dollars. Yeah. I'll buy myself a fucking sandwich. I'll survive one extra day with that money. Isn't that crazy? Of course I'll take that over nothingness. So, uh, alright. See you guys next time. I'm, I'm done with this shit. And I don't want to fucking rant about it anymore. But holy shit, like the censorship, it's kind of like the same thing as hate moderation, right? The censorship. But hate moderation is I, I had to specify what I hate the most. And I said hate. It's like hatred, bro. Cyberbullying, harassment. It's different than hatred, I'll tell you that much. They also worded a little bit different. It's just Minecraft left left a fucking uh, a crater, a creeper explosion. We go against hatred, but YouTube is also like uh, not just censoring YouTube channels, but like uh, certain type of comments that seem hateful. You know, it's it's happening. Undercovers, I can see it when I you know moderate comments. I can see that shit. I can't hide comments myself. I can only hide users. Entire users, I can shoot them down. I have a gun. But I, I have no disciplinary actions that I can take on YouTube. On Discord, I can do that. But no one cares to join in. You know, hang out. Like, it's just a miserable experience at the moment. So the best I can do is, like, produce, like, one video. Because that's what people expect on YouTube. Like, watch a, like, cool video. Where... A person is not just stranting around. It's like, that's not impressive. You're not showing me anything. What? It's weird. It's weird. Like, what the fuck do you want from me? I don't even know that. And it's just seeing copy and paste what you see on YouTube. Like, I can't do that either. I'm not going to hold a fucking camera in my hands. Like, the YouTube can serve more purposes than just content that looks nice you know for N for npcs to consume if you're not npc because you're not like you you made it this far but like that's what they have to do they have to prove their humanity that they are capable of handling the sort of emotion like there it exists don't worry about it and the moment i express it it's a domino effect of people either trying to suppress it or just give me the same fucking thing because they can't hold it anymore. I was able to pee on the floor. They have to pee on the floor, but they have to pee on my floor. They have to disrespect me, you know. But they still do it the same fucking way, basically. It's just a lot worse. An NPC, 
uneducated way disrespectful to me but it's still hatred you know that just left is left unchallenged by most other people so i get all the hate but i will turn it around it's the easiest thing to do when you're smart it's just the opportunity is not there i don't have the resources to turn around i can't tell a story that that's nice enough and fluffy and uh squeezes your eyeballs for for some tear value you know it's not happening yet we're still at a disadvantage i would say hopefully it turns around we can forget about like the the pandemic and the the invasions the wars that are happening hopefully it's not escalating it's gonna be shut down something tells me it's still gonna take four years for that to happen uh but yeah i'll have to work hard I have to keep going forward because things are working out all right i'll tell the only positive thing is like as you survive you build your skills Things are not getting worse. Things are just getting complicated. And it's fine. You know, you'll be stronger when you come out of this nonsense. Because uh, everyone still has to keep moving forward. They have to, like, exhaust themselves. If they're capable, if they're growing, you have to exhaust yourself so you grow faster. You're just being challenged. So all of this is, you know, I got challenged. I completed my challenge. I completed the video. You get to see that I did it, you know, if you want to associate with me, I understand most people don't, you know, you have to build your reputation first, you have to show the nice things first, I understand that shit, but it's now just a simple button to click, the most popular stuff is up front, you don't have to fucking cry about it, now you can identify what I've done in my life that has given me success, I can talk about it very easily. And I will try to push YouTube Rewind as the most successful thing. I don't think it's that easy to push something. You can see if, if you label things Sniper Wolf versus Jack Stumps. Every other video that did not get views got a little bit, you know, different treatments of like Sniper Waffle like type of treatments. Sniper Wolf versus the mob. It's, it's like a deviation from a normal uh, title. You have to, like, specifically title this shit, unfortunately, for people to pick up your video. And still have a good introduction and all that shit. Uh, not fall off a cliff as well. Like, But it's so painful that YouTube only rewards for specific titles. That's what either people click on or whatever. Like, the algorithm is just... Put like this like the algorithm doesn't actually like suggest titles doesn't toy around with it so we we, ju we just gonna we're just playing lottery we're just playing slot machines in this case it's not a very satisfying uh way to do like on tiktok is way sad way more satisfying experience because you're actually playing slot machines in a fair way like the video is going to be shown to different people if they don't actually don't like it they'll just go do something else and there's like you're forced into short to a short format i don't like that personally there's not much self-expression but it's useful right it's useful for everyone so tiktok is is definitely kicking some ass and if youtube will shoot themselves in the foot constantly as i see it relentlessly the only thing that happened is like oh i can click on all this now it's this this one button is the only thing that happened in recent times that like is like wow oh i guess that's a good change now that's this is it how the fuck right that is it bro this is crazy man, to me and I use YouTube, I, I want to know about every single feature that exists that's cool and stuff, how to use YouTube efficiently and all that stuff. Maybe there's some, like, plugins that we can do. You know, the... Uh, these are, oh, well, extensions, right? Anyways. 
Let's let's fucking go. I want to be done with these videos, man. YouTube Rewind is very important to me. And we're going to talk about this next video. So stay tuned. See you guys next time.